What's up you guys? So in this video what I'm going to show you is how we replace the air valve core from one of the rims in my mother's vehicle. The reason we're replacing this easy part is because it was leaking air. Tires had a slow leak. There was no nail. And there was nothing wrong with the tire. So that leads me to believe and our options are it's leaking from either the, the beads the tire bead it didn't seal properly that could be an issue sometimes you got rust that builds up in the barrel and it doesn't seal properly it creates a slow leak sometimes the valve stem itself might be cracked if it's if it's alloy aluminum if it's rubber it might be cut it might be degraded it might be leaking over there or your option is the valve core so because we have extra parts extra valve cores we're gonna replace that first and hopefully that solves our issue and we won't have to be going to the gas station in these negative 20 degree temperatures to keep putting in air all right so stay tuned I'm gonna do a voiceover on these videos it's easy as pie first of all you guys want to make sure you drain all the darn air out of that tire before you install these new hardcore valve cores these hardcore valve cores came in a kit got these from the auto parts store so make sure you're hardcore when you're replacing these valve cores make sure you wear gloves because you don't want to scratch your nails so here you can see that's the valve stem inside is the valve core the bad valve core which we will replace with this brand new tool we just purchased on Amazon please see the link in the description now make sure you do lefty loosey otherwise you will strip the threads as you can see this is a perfect visual demonstration of the lefty loosey now keep the rpms real low when you're when you're turning it to the left because these things tend to shoot out like bullets if there's extra access rpms or load on the tire once we remove this we are getting a great uh, macro mode zoom in via iPhone 8. Shout out to iPhones for the image stabilization and uh, autofocus. Here's the difference between the factory one and the aftermarket one we are installing. As you can see, there is no difference, so we'll skip through all this and we will demonstrate how to install the same thing we just. Well, never mind. What is this? Well, this I say is the cleaning process. Make sure you clean the inside of the valve stem in case there is any dirt, debris, or run over animals that got stuck in there. Once that is clean, I will demonstrate in macro mode again. Shout out to iPhone for cleaning it up a bit. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, and that's how it works. So once you control, install some petroleum jelly in there, you're gonna insert the new core. Make sure you tighten it. Up oh, lefty loosey. Oh no no, it's the righty, righty tidy. Okay, here we go. Let's tighten that bad boy up. Torque it to spec. Specs will be in the description below. And we have to fill it with air. We are currently using organic air from the Alps of the motherland because those provide better fuel efficiency and economy. and done so in the end this is the new valve core the new hardcore valve core make sure it's not hissing if you can put some bubble soapy water on there and check if there's bubbles if that's the case you probably just have to sell this car and use the CTA for the rest of your life all right here we have a close-up view of the valve core Unfortunately, I had to switch cameras because the iPhone 8 just did not do its justice. So we are here using my iPhone 6. Yes, yes, you heard it right. The older, the better. As you can see here, when we're pushing on the valve, the distal end of that valve opens up and releases air or brings in air. And as you can see, there is a red rubber seal there. And over time, that might dry out, dry rot, which creates leaks and that's how you would lose the air. 